Am I introducing myself again? Sure, go for it. You're on. Hi, I'm Tim from Worlds Collide. I'm going to answer some questions. What do you want to know, Brian? What do you think is happening with uh, DC and Marvel, with uh, the Convergence and the Secret Wars upon us? Well, one at a time. Um, Convergence is basically all of their multi-universal crossover events mashed into one, which sounds to me like it's going to be a bit of a mess, but... You know, that's just me. Maybe I'm easily confused in my old age. What's going to be interesting is what comes out the other side. You know, they're, they're going to narrow their... It sounds to me like they're narrowing their universe that actually has continuity to it down to a couple of dozen books, which I think is, is actually better. It means that somebody who's into that whole um, uh, cohesive universe... Uh, hey, guys. It makes it more accessible to them. You know, comics aren't a quarter anymore. You know, they're three or four dollars, and it all adds up. Uh, I think the other things, and I haven't seen solicitations yet for any of the new books, but I think it's going to be more along the lines of uh, uh, things that you don't have to read 12 other books to understand, and maybe aimed at different markets. You know, Batman 66 isn't connected to anything. They've done uh, series that are connected to uh, video games. Uh, and I think they've had good success with those. And, and the problem with the cohesive universe thing is it, it appeals to people who have been reading for a long time, but it doesn't really appeal to new readers because they don't know where to get in. Unless they start at the beginning like everyone did with New 52. And even that kind of ran out after a while. People, you know, afraid to start uh, at a certain point without knowing what's going on. Well, that's it. Whereas if you have... Uh, have a series that's not connected to anything else, then it's not that daunting to go back to the start. You know, it's nothing. You know, it's like like somebody starting at the beginning with uh, a series like Fables or, or Preacher. You know, mm -hmm. there's a, there's a set number of books to read to get the story. Whereas I think a lot of people look at the the cohesive DC universe and the cohesive Marvel universe, and it's too much. So now you can just dive into something, pick it yeah, up, and yeah. You know, I start. think they're going to be aiming at different markets, different audiences. They're going to be aiming more at uh, women, I suspect. I think there's a, there's a, I don't know about other comic stores. It's definitely a lot of growth. Women here than we used to. And, uh, well, they like, you know, some of the same stuff the guys do. They do have different tastes as well, and I think there'll be more stuff aimed at that. Yeah, there's a lot of new readers, a lot of different, you know, you know. Uh, there, there's a lot of different, there's a lot of new readers, a lot of different, uh, yeah. As for Secret Wars, I'm not really sure what their point there is. I know that they're going to be mashing the regular universe and the ultimate universe uh, together, on, which makes, it sen makes sense to some extent, because um, uh, they're not really doing much with the ultimate universe other than Maz Morales. But where he fits in, that'll be the interesting thing to me. Is, you know, uh, are they going to have two Spider-Men? Uh, I mean, I guess that can work. We we've had two Batman before and variations on Superman. And now we have 12 different variations on Spider-Man, so, you know, maybe that's what's going to get them out the other side, but it's, I don't know. I'm going to wait and see uh, mode on that one. I'm done. <laughs> that's okay. Not carry, sorry. No. No. That's okay. Nothing new. 